Critical stage of the race now for Tom Humphreys. Can he sustain this sort of pace? Can he maintain the lead over the rest? And the rest working off each other, and it really is an advantage to do that. Castillo of uh, Spain and Europe looks to be the man who's realised that there may well be danger, and he's pushing it along in second place. Andy Vernon just on the back. Incidentally, it's his 27th birthday today, and uh, he would hope to do pretty well. 27 today for Andy Vernon. But Humphreys, who's taken this race so early on, has had a lone run, really. Mack has now gone into second place. Lambda Sam third. Castillo in fourth place. Then Lebed and then Vernon. And the trailing group, uh, they're not making any headway yet. But let's just see. A grimace on that face, perhaps a little. But they're not making that uh, ground up yet. And I just wonder, has Humphreys got enough to take him right through to the finish the rest well there's a lot of sprint power in that group behind and of course Humphreys will not know how far they are behind him he'll have to dig in and really work very very hard so an interesting part of the race this Humphreys ahead of uh, Mac of the United States Great Britain and Europe, of course, Great Britain, the defending champions here in this race. I wonder whether Humphreys has got, look at that, there's the incline, he looks strong up the incline. His stride length has not shortened at all. But Bobby Mack leading the trailing group now. He's the man who's really pushing it on. Lambda Sam, they will remember second and first uh, respectively last year. And I think they may well have made a little bit of ground. Just a little, a thousand metres to go for Tom Humphreys. Can he hold on? Almost a glance behind, but not quite. Looks relaxed in the shoulders. Now then. We know on that uh, rhythm sapping log, and they are closing down. There's no question about that. Andy Vernon has tagged onto the back of Lebed now, and that trailing group. Now, let's just look, get a clue here. Yes, they are closing. There's no question, but has he done enough? This is the question. Matt comes fast down that hill. That's the way to do it. But Humphrey is holding on, holding on as the rest tear into him. Mac, Lambda Sam, Casillo, Casillo of Spain and Europe, and they are closing him. It's closing down that gap. It's getting smaller and smaller, and the rest in Q4 form just following now. Look at this. We're well into the last 1,000 metres now, and the crowd urging Humphreys on. Can he hold on? Can Mac improve on his second place last year? Max Strong, remember, he won the US National Cross Country title in St. Louis over 12 kilometers last year. So he's got strength endurance, and we know he's got a bit of speed endurance on the basis of last year. But Lambda Sam's latched onto him. They know each other so well. And uh, uh, Castillo of uh, Europe and Spain just behind him. And Andy Vernon going well. And it's Lebed who's been dropped off the back, but still Humphreys has the lead. Well into the final stages of this race now. And they're really having to work hard now as they go up this incline. Look at that, 400 metres to go. Humphreys is being closed down as he turns that corner. He looks tired to me. And Mack putting the pressure on. Humphreys leads, Mack in second, Lambda Sam third, Vernon is fighting hard for a place in the top three. Can the Briton hold on? And Lambda Sam now will show some real sprinting power and he's chasing Humphreys and Humphreys is going to be caught. What will he do when they catch him? Will he be able to respond? Humphreys still leading, Lambda Sam takes over. Humphreys in second, now Humphreys in third. Mack's gone past him as well. So Lambda Sam leads and Mack in second place, 200 metres to go through that mud patch Andy Vernon going strongly as well and Humphreys desperately trying to hold on but Vernon is coming through into third place but Lambda Sam versus Mac Lambda Sam can he repeat his win of last year it's going to be so close close Europe versus the United States Great Britain in third here comes Mac on the outside Lambda Sam and Mac this time is coming past and Bobby Mac is going to win it yes he gets there he does for the USA with uh, Lambda Sam gets second and Andy Vernon gets third, and uh, Tom Humphreys fourth, and then you've got Sergey Lebed, and then Castillo, who tried to push him along towards the end. But what a race, and what a time to get overtaken in the last 200 metres.
Well, let's confirm all of that. Bobby Mack then for the USA, Lambda Sam, Europe, Vernon, Great Britain, Humphreys, Great Britain. A couple of Americans there in seventh and eighth. Last year I got caught off guard, so this year I wanted to be up there in the mix a little more, especially uh, you know with 2K to go and 3K to go. So uh, this year I made sure I was ready to finish with the, the leaders. Well, the women's race underway, about a lap and a half to go for them. And, uh, well, the scores, eight points, the advantage to Great Britain over Europe, and the USA trailing by, what, eight behind uh, the Europe team. So it's important that uh, Steph Twell and Rosie Smith here uh, perform well in this uh, team event with uh, six to count. Jess Coulson, incidentally, is going well, just behind uh, Fionula Britain, the European champion. Jess won the uh, European Under-23 championship. She's ahead of the... Uh, Champ of the captain of Great Britain, that's Julie Blaisdell of Great Britain, of course, Hillingdon and Thames here in Hounds Club, who is a young woman who was eighth place in the Olympic Games over five and ten thousand meters. But uh, Coulson doing very nicely this season uh, to win that championship has given her a very, very big uh, a boost and uh, to hang on to the senior champion with a margin like this over Herzog, who is the uh, Dutch uh, European bronze medalist uh, this year. Uh, well, that is quite something. So there's a little bit of confidence coming from winning a championship, that's for sure. But Finula, Finula Britain, twice the European champion, won it last year, the year before. And, of course, the Bupa Great Edinburgh Cross Country champion last year as well. So she's doing very nicely. The rest of the British team... Ah, there's the lead American. That's uh, Matty Suva. She's the captain of the American team, incidentally. Duarte there as well coming through. She was one of the European uh, team. Uh, but look at this margin now being opened up by uh, Fionula uh, Britain. She really is a talent on the track. And incidentally, last season, a personal best over 3,000, 5,000 and 10,000. So really, with one lap to go, that's 2,000 metres, two kilometres to go of this three-lap race. She's doing very, very nicely indeed. 13.39 or thereabouts. Coulson in second place. Herzog, it looks as though in the third place at the moment, is it? No, it isn't. It's uh, Yes, it is. It is her. Uh, those pink socks giving away her position and the rest will follow through and uh, there's the British captain as well and one or two of the British athletes well I'm just looking for Britons remember six to count and remember only eight points the advantage and Europe have this woman um, at the four and she really is very very difficult to beat indeed on the country former steeplechaser she was a finalist in the steeplechase in uh, Osaka in the world championships in 2007 and she's a 5,000 metre run of around about 15-12, although uh, I would think that if she could only translate this sort of form from the country onto the track, then obviously she's going to be very, very difficult. Didn't do quite so well in the steeplechase in Beijing in 2008, didn't emerge beyond the heats uh, in that, uh, on that occasion. But uh, Jess Coulson, well, over the Christmas break, she was 11th in a senior race in the... Um, in a Brussels, incidentally, the young woman in second place chasing uh, Fionula Britain. And uh, so she's going quite strongly at the moment and uh, winning the Liverpool McCain cross country race in November last year as well. And she was third in, Bu in Bugos in Spain in a race in November. So um, really in very, very confident uh, form indeed, and particularly so after winning that uh, under-23, finding those logs very difficult. When, when you get into a steeplechase, see if Fionula Britain won't find them too difficult. She's a steeplechase. She's, she's uh, involved in barriers all the time in her event. But uh, Jess will find that very difficult because it's rhythm sapping. And this is a big lead now. This is not just a winning performance. It is a dominant piece of performance because that is the sort of gap that she's opened up over the winner of the European Under-23 Championship, uh, Jess Coulson. The Stockport Harriers Club, Manchester University, incidentally, representing Great Britain. You can see in parts of the course, very, very muddy underfoot. Herzog coming through very strongly uh, in uh, third place. I can see Matty Suva of the United States also going quite well, but way, way down on this Irish woman. She really is uh, go. Oh, she's gone down. Well, we said it's muddy. She got up straight away. Obviously, no obvious effect on that, but a bit embarrassing, I would think. She will think all that at the end of the race. <laughs> Flat on her backside and up again very quickly. And the lead was so, so big that it hasn't made any difference at all. Obviously, no sign of any injury at all. Look at that. Yeah, keep going. I think she's going quite nicely, thank you. She really is pushing along. 
deep in concentration. Big stride length, too, towards the end of this race. Oh, look at this. Herzog now, Adrien Herzog of uh, Europe and the Netherlands has come through past uh, Jess Coulson. Now, Coulson may well, with 400 metres to go for the leader for Fionnula Britain, uh, Jess Coulson obviously tried to stay with Fionnula Britain for a long, long time and may well be suffering just a little bit now towards the end of this six-kilometre race. It really has been quite a demonstration now by Fionnula Britain. Well, she's won this race before. She is the defending champion. She's the European champion. She defended that title well. And the rest, look at this. There are those going around that part of the course. We'll see the champion. Uh, in the opposite direction. Herzog is uh, coming very, very strongly. And in third place, there's Suva, the American. I said she was going quite nicely. She's there. And uh, I'm looking at... Uh, there is uh, Dolce Felix of uh, Portugal and Europe, too, the European uh, cross-country silver medalist, incidentally. Herzog got a, a bronze in the uh, European Championship. So, well, they're all three medalists are there, but this one is dominant. The gold medalist is just underlining a marvellous, marvellous uh, start to 2013 and uh, are just uh, confirming the form that she showed in December of 2012 in those European Championships. Looks very, very confident, allows herself a smile now as she approaches toward the finish, and it's a very, very fine run indeed. Fionnula Britain defends her title here in Edinburgh, wins again. That's just as she did last year, about 20 minutes 40, if you saw on that uh, uh, time just above. And uh, Adrian Herzog of Europe coming in next. And then uh, Matty Suva, what a strong finish she had for the United States. She's the captain of the United States. And Jess Coulson just hanging on from Dulce Felix and uh, Linda Byrne, the other Irish woman. And then Albertson Junkers of uh, the United States. But what a run. Well, Fionnula Britain dominated the race with 20 minutes and 40, but look at that, four Europeans in the top six. And that is the outcome. It all came down to the women's race. Everyone kind of was holding back, and I think everyone was waiting for someone to take the lead. And I thought, first of all, I was like, okay, I'm happy enough to stay here until we get over the first logs, because I thought, like, you want to get a good, like, you want to be able to see them when you get over them, and then no one really came up, so I just had to kind of push on from there. And then when I knew the group was breaking down, I was like, well, there's no point in sitting back now and letting the group get back together. Well, that's it from Scotland then. We're back in a few months' time with the Great Ireland Run. Don't forget to keep up to date on our website, greatrun.org. But for now, it's goodbye from Edinburgh. <laughs>